How cute is my little Bella canvas sweatshirt? Well, cropped hoodie. It's not even cropped, actually. I'm just lying all over the place. My little sleeveless hoodie is so cute. I have some new Bella Canvas goodies that I am going to unbox to show you what I'm looking at for fall, winter, as I'm kind of transitioning my brand. But if you are here and you need some Black Friday tips, some holiday tips, this is going to be the video for you, all right? Especially if you are new to t-shirts or you are restarting t-shirt brand or just curious, I got you either way, all right? My name is Crystal, if you're brand new here, I would love if you would stick around because if you hear it, that means you want to learn more about like business and t-shirts and all of that. All right. And that's what we do. So go ahead and subscribe and you will get a lot more in the future. And hopefully YouTube will show my face to some more folks. All right. So for today, let's talk about the holidays. Let's talk about Black Friday. Let's talk about some of the marketing campaigns that I've done. Let's talk about just jumping right in. Like I was saying for the election t-shirts, when you jump in to a season where everybody is focused on the same thing, it is very easy for you to get traction to your shirt because everybody is thinking about the same thing, okay? Prime example, right now as I film this video, we are in September. However, if you go to Netflix, if you go to Hulu, if you go to Prime, any of the streaming services, you will see Halloween collections. Why is that? They know Halloween is around the corner. When you go to CVS, when you go to the grocery store, what do you see? They are always preparing you for what's to come. Marketing is all around us. It's just about you paying attention and you thinking as a business owner instead of a consumer. All right. So as a business owner, right now is the perfect time to jump into the holiday saga if that is what you want to do for your t-shirt brand. Just like I said with Halloween, if you're interested, Halloween t-shirts do very well. People love spooky season. So if that's what you're into, you can make a cute Halloween shirt, go on Fiverr, have somebody do it for you, or use the templates on Canva, okay? They have a free trial, or you can create it directly on a website like Printful or Spring. I say this every single time I make a video, okay? There are several ways for you to get this done if you want to get it done, okay? Halloween, not your thing. That's okay. Because guess what? Black Friday is right after that. Black Friday and Thanksgiving. Now, let me be clear because Black Friday is not for the week, especially not now. After 2020, Black Friday became this very weird thing because... People do Black Friday sales throughout the year to try to stand out because everybody is doing Black Friday. And unfortunately for a lot of brands, if you have not cultivated your community, if they have not been waiting on you to drop a sale, you may get lost in the sauce. But the way to go around this that you will see with some brands is Nordstrom, for example. They have the anniversary sale. Some people do birthday sales. Some people come up with random days around Black Friday to not get stuck in the traffic, but to just have their own Black Friday situation, right? So you can think about now because in September, you're almost late if you're just thinking about Black Friday. So my bad for making it so late. But the point is, think about how you want to stand out from everybody else with a fun sale, something that will get people excited. For example, one year for Black Friday, instead of doing just like a 15, 20, 30% off discount, we just did free shirts. Okay, we just did free shirts. We're going to show up, say thank you. People still had to pay for shipping, but we, we did it. You may not be able to do something like that or a big promotion like that if you're just starting off. So just come up with creative ways to do that. And right now, you really have no excuse. It's 2024. Go to chat GPT and say, hey, what are 10 ways for me to do a Black Friday sale? Use one, use them all. 
but figure it out and use the free resources that are available to you. And look at other brands. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, see what people have done. What makes you, you, buy something for Black Friday or for the holidays? Think about that and then put that into your t-shirt brand, okay? Take your consumer side and turn it into your business side and think about what makes you say, you know what, for Black Friday, I gotta buy something from this place. Remember when like back in the day, it used to be a whole thing with like Walmart and TVs? Like that was the thing. Like I gotta get a TV. Now nobody cares because TVs are so inexpensive now. But just think about what makes you excited around holiday time, Black Friday time, all of that, right? Of course we have Christmas. Let me actually, let me not forget Thanksgiving because people do make Thanksgiving shirts. I did have a Thanksgiving collection one year and y'all, it was so cute, I almost forgot about this. I had like different colors and they represented a plate for Thanksgiving day. I did like cranberry sauce for maroon. We had mac and cheese. We had greens. Like that is how I've been able to be successful when it comes to t-shirts and e-commerce because I think outside of the box. Before ChatGPT was ChatGPT in, I was over here thinking about fun ways to stand out so that people would see my brand in the midst of the noise. All right, so have fun. And you can take that concept. I don't even care. I did it already. So take it. Use any of these concepts for your own business if it helps you. But do it your way. Do it authentically to your brand and who you are and your style. Okay? So with Christmas, another super big holiday. Okay? The moment that Halloween is over or even before it is, you'll see the store start switching out and then everything will be Christmas. I had a student one year and she created a holiday shirt for her singles community. She was all about singles empowerment and being, you know, an older woman who wanted to empower other women to just enjoy your singlehood. I love her. Shout out to Debbie if you are watching this. Um, I have some of the best students in the world. Thank you to all of you for supporting me, master classes, anything that I've done. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so Debbie created a really cute holiday shirt and she just sold out of them. I was like, Debbie, I was so freaking excited because she found a way to turn her singles brand into a holiday shirt and her community loved it, all right? So think about cute ways that you can show up for the holidays, maybe something that you say or, you know, a cute phrase, even something as simple as ho, 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 okay? <laughs> Whatever that is, people love shirts during the holidays. Um, for example, let me think of something we did for Christmas. I've done 12 days of Christmas before where every day, um, it wasn't leading up to Christmas because I wanted people to have the gifts for Christmas, but it was like in the beginning of December and every day for 12 days, we had a new item that was on sale. If you've been on Printful, you know it's way more than just t-shirts. They got phone cases, they got notebooks, they got home items, they got jewelry. And we had something really cute drop every single day. Laptop covers, all kind of stuff. It was fun. The items were exclusive. So people were like, yes, I gotta have this. And again, if you're a newer brand, you may not have a huge audience, but that is not stopping you from jumping in and figuring it out, okay? First things first, I would say, if you're watching right now and you like, I don't even know how to begin, let alone think about the holiday season, go back and watch some of my other videos, okay? Spend some time doing your research, writing your plan out, and getting started today. Getting started today could be as simple as starting a new Instagram account, especially if you are worried about posting on the account that you already have. Start a new social media account, even if right now you don't have a name. And see, this is the stuff that like, <laughs> it be messing y'all up. Like, but what if, but what if somebody's gonna steal my stuff? Or what if, and all of that keeps you stagnant. 
instead of just moving and doing something. You could change your Instagram name later. If you start right now and you just go put Crystal's Tees on a new Instagram page, you've done something. You started your business. And you can start posting, you can start having fun on this new Instagram account. And then when you decide, like, I want my name to be Indigo Tees, change the name, right? Just do something today to jump in. And if holiday and nostalgia shirts are your thing, get on Etsy, get on Amazon, do the research, look at a website. I'm going to put all of this in the description. Look at a website called answerthepublic.com for some ideas and get on chat GPT and utilize it, okay? Give me 10 Christmas t-shirt ideas. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now because I don't even wanna hear your mouth in the comments. Let me see, chat GPT. I'm not even gonna log in, okay? 10 Christmas t-shirt concepts and there are several videos on here about how to use chat gpt and all kind of stuff but i'm not logged in just put this in okay you see it's as simple as this number one classic santa a jolly santa claus with a phrase ho 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 underneath number two christmas tree ornament that's cute number three Ugly sweater style. You know everybody is going to an ugly sweater party. Why Why not have a shirt for them? A design mimicking an ugly Christmas sweater with reindeer snowflakes and candy canes. Number four, funny reindeer. A reindeer with sunglasses and the phrase, chilling with my elves. Number five, Santa's list. Santa's checklist with nice, ticked off, and naughty crossed out. Number six, gingerbread crew, gingerbread men with the phrase gingerbread gang or baking spirits bright. Why is baking spirits bright so freaking cute? <laughs> Number seven, clearly y'all can say this is my favorite part. I love coming up with designs. Number seven, Christmas puns, Yule, Y-U-L-E, be sorry. Number eight, Elf Squad. Elves working together with the text Elf Squad or Santa's Little Helpers. Number nine, holiday cheer. A simple design with the words joy or peace and elegant script surrounded by holly. Number 10, snowman fun. A cheerful snowman with a scarf and hat along with the phrase frosty friends. You could do this all day long. I could literally hit back and say, give me 10 more designs. Give me 20 more designs. And you as a business owner, you have to try and see what works. You could do it risk-free on a website like Teespring where you don't have to pay up front. That's what I did when I first started out. Everybody wanna argue about how is it really $0? Back in the day when I first started, you just had to sell a certain amount to reach your campaign and then they would ship them out and pay you afterwards. I don't know if it's exactly like that now, but I do know that if you want to get this done, you will find a way. And now I didn't have ChatGPT. I was just thinking in my mind, like, okay, what I'm going to create? What I'm going to create? So now, so many ways that you could jump in this holiday season. I would do the same thing for like Black Friday. Like I said earlier, give me 10 Black Friday campaigns. Give me um, 10 Halloween campaigns, whatever that is. Just get started today. It's September 2024. So whenever you're watching this, it's still never too late because there's always gonna be a holiday season. There's always gonna be something that you can jump in for. So. Let's get it, all right? I wanna know what you're gonna create based on this video and I cannot wait to hear it in the comments. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.